Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nizar Kadam and with a huge, huge request on creation of this video or you can say the entire series, I'm beginning with a new series on YouTube, on my YouTube channel where I will be talking about <clears throat> how you can prepare yourself for UiPath's specialized AI professional certification. First of all, thank you so much to all of you who has supported me till now. And I know it's been so long time. I haven't created any video. There is a reason for that. <laughs> I have been saying the same thing a lot of times, but uh, apologies. And let's get started with this series. So the main motive of this video, this is the first video of the entire series. I will have a subsequent videos, which talks in more detail, in more depth about each and every product and how you can actually learn and how you can actually go through this examination and crack this exam, right? So to get started with that, first of all, let's understand what is UiPath Specialized AI Professional Exam. So this exam is actually expected to have extensive hands-on experience on UiPath's document understanding, communication mining, and AI center. So remember, before you apply for this exam or opt in for the exam, make sure you actually have used either at least two of these products. For example, UiPath document understanding and communication mining, or maybe AI center and UiPath document understanding. I know communications mining is a very new product. You might not have got chance to actually use it on, on premises or within your customer, or maybe just for trial purpose. However, we have actual documentation and how you can actually go through all this and crack this exam. So to watch this video to learn the first step to actually get started with preparation of UiPath Specialized AI Professional Examination. Okay, amazing. Now, now we know that what two products that we actually need hands-on with, even if you don't have, that's okay. You can actually watch a couple of videos, which I will refer you to, and you can actually go through the entire training course also, which is available on UiPath Academy. However, you need to be certified in at least one of the certification, which is mentioned in the document. I'll, tell, I'll talk about that, right? So how you get to know more about this <clears throat> exam. First of all, navigate to academy.uipath.com certifications where you actually get to see exam description document. You can actually take a free online practice test as well. And then you can start with your journey of the learning plan. Let's go to the document straight, up, straight away. So in this document, if you see the very first thing which they have mentioned is the prerequisite. So you have to be certified either automation developer associate Automation Developer Professional or the new certification, which is UI RPA and sorry, the new certifications or the, the one which was there earlier, right? UI RPA or UI ARD. So if you have any one of the certification, only in that case, you are applicable to give examination for specialized AI professional. So if you don't have any of the certification, it will definitely show you a prompt that it won't even let you select the exam uh, while you actually go ahead and select it on Pearson view, right? So that's the prerequisite. Now that you have actually cleared this examination and I consider that you're already a target audience for this specific exam, by means of target audience, what do I mean? So you have to be automation developer, which where you have actually worked on document understanding, communications mining, or AI center in production, or maybe for demonstration purpose or POCs, right? Also, your role is equivalent to where you are using communications mining or document understanding, uh, which is equivalent to solution designer, automation engineer, maybe solution architect or automation consultant, which works with these technologies, right? Now, let's say you are a target audience for this exam and you are enthusiastic and you are interested to give this examination and you fit in all these checkpoints. You are done with the prerequisite. You are perfect on the ground and you have used this product. Now what? Now to get started, remember this examination is a complete uh, MCQ based exam, right? Uh, all you have to do is just select uh, check boxes, right? You don't have to actually perform any kind of automation. You don't have to actually run any kind of a document understanding project or AI center model. So that's okay. That's fine, right? You're good with that. Now, what's next? So if you go to the documentation, you can see the products, right? Now, this is the first thing that you should remember. The products that they have mentioned here is all up to 2022.10. So if there is a new feature in 2023.4, 10 uh, or 2024. The latest one, which is not yet released, obviously, because uh, from 2024, UiPath will have only one year LTS per year. However, if you have seen any updates in 2023, then be rest assured that those questions will not be there in the examination, right? So you have to learn whatever is there up until 2022.10 for this examination. Obviously you can learn new features 
for your own projects. But for the exam, you don't have to worry about the new feature, the latest features, right? Then this exam actually focuses more on your document understanding experience. Now, when I say document understanding experience, I mean that the document understanding framework, first of all, right? You have to understand, you have, you might have already used the framework. If you have not used, then you learn about how UiPath document understanding framework works, you know, then there's a template in, on, in UiPath Studio, which is specially designed for UiPath's document understanding process, which is called as UiPath document understanding process. There's a difference actually between this framework and process. The process is like a complete template, which is given to you, which you can actually use, like ready to use, right? And this document understanding framework is basically nothing but uh, what are the components that are used in UiPath document understanding that you can actually go through and you can create or extract information from any document, right? It's an intelligent document processing platform. Correct. Now, more important in UiPath Studio, what are the document understanding activities which are there? So you don't have to worry about UiPath Studio web. Okay. So I haven't seen any question on UiPath Studio web so far or any activity related to UiPath Studio web. So you're okay with that. You can use the knowledge base only on UiPath Studio based. Then there is an implementation methodology based on UiPath's document understanding. So you have to actually learn more about that. And when you can get to learn that, we will all talk about that, right? We'll go into depth of both the topics, right? So don't have to worry about it. Then UiPath AI Center. UiPath AI Center is more of a, uh, it's overview, it's experience. What are the out of the box models? What are the available models? What are the models by UiPath? Then how you can actually build your own model? What are the requirements for creating your own custom model? Then what are the requirements for uploading your model, right? And what are the different ways of extracting data, uploading data? So all of these things, whichever are concerned with UiPath's AI center, even creating your own custom model for document understanding will be part of this examination. And there are heavy questions on that, right? After that, there's a UiPath document understanding process template, which is a complete framework, which I just talked about, right? So this framework, all you have to do is simply go through the document, which is the user guide of UiPath document understanding process. Where can you get this template document? It's simple. Go to UiPath uh, and actually search for UiPath, uh, doc I mean, that UiPath template for UiPath document understanding. And when you go to that template, right, there is a folder called as user guide. So you can simply go to that user guide folder and can find this particular document within the template itself. Just like in RE framework in documentation, you have a separate documentation for RE framework, right? Which explains all the components of RE framework. Simply, just like that, this document explains all the concepts of UiPath document understanding process in thorough, right? What component is used for which purpose and how you can use, right? All these questions are com covered within this document itself. So this document is again, another docu important document for you. Now comes the most critical piece, which many of you have been asking about, which is UiPath's communication mining. In this series, I will also create videos on using UiPath's communication mining and talking more about the UI of UiPath communication mining so you can actually get to know more about it. But on a high level, there are questions at least out of, so there are total 80 questions, right? Which you have to give within 30, uh, three hours. Uh, so these 80 questions are divided very nicely, right? Amongst all the topics. So there are at least expect 20 to 30 questions on UiPath's communication mining. I know which is a lot uh, compared to the exam, but yes, there are at least 20 to 25 questions minimum, right? Which are about UiPath's communication mining. Now to know more about UiPath's communication mining and to get all these answers, simply we will use a reference point of reinfer also. So reinfer, if you see support.reinfer.io, uh, which is Reinfer's website for knowledge base. Why I like this website more than UiPath's docs website? I mean, I'll be I'll be very honest, right? UiPath's doc website is very nice. You can actually go to docs.uipath.com, correct? So you can go to this docs.uipath.com and you can search about uh, communications mining here, which will actually take you to the communications mining documentation, correct? All the documentation that you have here, right? User guide, getting started, blah, blah, blah. So many things are here. And basically these are all the same documents which are available here on Reinfer. But the advantage which I have seen so far is searching information here is much more easier than searching information on the docs because this website actually searches based on the keyword match. And that's where even if your two keywords are separate and they're into multiple documents, it will give you a suggestion. For example, let's say refine phase, right? So if I just search it, it gives me the keyword based search 
and multiple pages where that particular keyword which I have entered pres is present. So I can open any one of them. If I want to search specifically about low, low confidence, I can actually go through that and I can learn more about it. And this documentation is also very nice, very thorough, just like UiPath's communication mining docs. I'm just telling you for you know ease purpose that if you want to learn more, this is the best documentation of the website which I have found and I'm using this one for my own personal search, okay? <laughs> Rather than docs as of now. Maybe, maybe they might discard this in a long-term period. I'm not sure because it's already saying that, you know, knowledge base have been fully migrated to UI per docs. So please navigate to equivalent articles on UI per docs and, uh, you know, for up-to-date guidance, so which is okay. But I still used this one for my own personal training. <sighs> okay, now. So now that you know where to learn, uh, from where to learn UiPath communication spanning, right? I'll come back to the whole training part as well. Uh, then there's um, analytics and monitoring for all, for UiPath communication mining, for AI center, for DU, all. They might ask you questions on analytics and monitoring. Then there is a model management, automation, and obviously, which is not mentioned here in these two topics, but they will ask you generic questions about, in the examination, about whole concept of AI. For example, they might ask you questions about what is supervised learning? What is unsupervised learning, right? Then what is neural network? So there are a couple of questions like that, which are on the core concept of AI or the understanding of artificial intelligence and machine learning that you have. Since assuming that you are giving examination for specialized AI. Now, remember the name of the examination is specialized AI professional. So it won't involve questions on generative AI, or the new features such as generative classifier, generative extractor, or uh, your, you know, uh, what is that? Copy paste uh, product UI path. Uh, they, they want to ask you questions on that, right? Clipboard AI, no, no questions on that. So the questions are specifically on specialized AI features of UI path, which is good, right? The, the scope now we know is limited. So with that, let's talk about uh, what all questions they might ask. So I, I already talked about, right? UI path document understanding framework. So you can learn the, activities of UiPath document understanding framework, then the document understanding activity. So there are these many things which are listed, which they might ask you about in the examination about UiPath's document understanding activities, like classification wizard, extraction scope, what are the different types of extractors, different types of scope, right? Extraction methods, blah, blah, blah. So many things are there. We will talk about all of these points one by one in each and every video. And thoroughly, we will go through all of these features, right? In upcoming videos. So this video is only to guide you and talk about what all things and how you should start your preparation, right? Also then there are most important factor, which is the training. So on UiPath Academy, there is a training called as Automation Developer Specialized AI Professional Training. So while you're watching my video series, which I will be releasing soon, uh, as soon as I get my time every week or every three to four days, I'll be uploading a new video. While you're going through this series, I recommend you actually go also this through this training, which is Automation Developer Specialized AI Professional Training. Now, while you're going through this training, you learn about AI Center Overview, which is two and a half hour model, which is very important and very in-depth. Then there's a document understanding, whole picture of 12 hours, which you can actually watch. Communications mining is more of like five hours, it says, but it, it'll take you more time to go through all of these, uh, go through the documentation, actually, you know, watching this uh, experience, right? And then there's a small assessment here of 40 minutes, which is important, right? So right here, you get to know how much you have learned from all these three products. And this is very important journey, right? So go through this training. This is a 21 hours of a training, which is a specialized AI professional training, which is very, very important. Now coming to the part. So you already know there's a specialized AI training, correct? Now then there is again, uh, if you are on partner academy, then you have a specialized AI professional OLT also, if you are on a partner academy or a partner portal. So simply log into your partner partner portal .com and you can actually go ahead and complete this training as well. Now, once you have all these trainings, the documentation which you see here, now look at this. There's an automation suite documentation. There is an activities guide of UiPath uh, document understanding, right? There is AI center automation cloud. Now the trick here, if you see the document understanding for automation suite 2022. So there are actually questions on document understanding, which are concerned with automation suite implementation. And the questions are also related to implementation as well. A couple of questions are there, which are talking about implementation of AI center, implementation of document understanding. Now that might be a little bit tricky, but don't worry. We will cover all of that as part of our series as well. Right. And then moving ahead, 
there are several links which they have provided here, which you can actually go through. These all links are about the learning and documentation of all UI paths. If you see all the links are docs.uipath.com. So you will get all of that on docs.uipath.com. Don't have to worry about it. Then there are a couple of links here. You see already they have also mentioned, even they have moved all the data from the reinforced support documentation to UiPath, but still they have provided a couple of links here, which are referring to support.reinfer.io. So which is important. That's why you know we should refer to this particular website also for our questions and answers, right? And, 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 and finally, the most important one throughout this training, we need to get hands-on experienced on your actual projects or maybe debugging features or maybe UiPath document understanding activities, how these activities are used, you know, which activity to use for what purpose, how you can actually involve human in the loop, how action center comes into picture, how action is assigned to user, and then what activity is used for waiting for that action to be completed and come back and resume. And then what is the strategy of actually running your document understanding on cloud again, right? If you're using enterprise and how, if you're using cloud, then how? So all of these is actually there. We have to just learn and deep dive into it more, right? So that, that's all about your UI paths, specialized AI examination. So the most important thing is this exam, once you pass, it's valid for three years, which is good, amazing. Second thing is that the exam duration is three hours, which is 180 minutes total. And the passing score is 70%. So it's actually a little tricky. And that's why this exam is very important. So if let's say you have 80 questions, right? So at least you have to go through 56 to 60 questions correct out of 80 to get the passing score. I personally completed the exam and I got 84%, which uh, I feel I still missed a lot of questions. And, uh, you know, I, I almost was sure about out of 80 questions, I was completely sure about 60 questions, like purely sure that this is correct. But rest 20 questions were, even for me, it were dicey because I completed the training, I completed the study, I did the whole part. But these 20 questions, right, were tricky. So given my experience of the examination, given my experience on creating YouTube videos, let's start this series and let's learn more about how we can actually give UiPath specialized examination. And the last part, which I want to talk about before I close this video is the website called Perplexity. So I use this website a lot and this is very helpful for me. For example, if you want to search anything, literally anything, right? For example, let's say uh, how you buy a path, document understanding is implemented on automation suite, for example, let's say. I'm not sure if that question is even valid. I just tried, wrote something. This website, actually, it's like a chat GPT and Gemini, but this is much, much better because it actually gives you source data as well. So you can see it's giving me reference documentation. If I just click on it, I can directly navigate to that specific website and I can learn about what this website is talking about. For example, it navigated just uh, to me just to, you see, the automation suite document understanding user guide, how to install, hardware requirement, SQL, offline installation, resources, blah, 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 everything. So this website is very important. Uh, I'm not, uh, this is not a paid uh, promotion or something like that. I'm just talking about what are the different sources you can actually refer. So this is one of my most favorite, uh, you can say referral point where I actually learned a lot about. And whenever I had any questions, any doubts, I immediately went to Perplexity Search, Perplexity Search here, and I found my answers. So this is an amazing way of getting started. So all the best for all of you who are actually planning for this examination. If you want to know specific about any product, any feature, I'm starting this series. You can ping me on LinkedIn, ping me on uh, WhatsApp. If you have my number, if you are on uh, LinkedIn connected, just ping me anywhere, reach out to me and I will design my content as per that. So I'll, I'm getting started with the series. Thank you so much for subscribing again and happy automation.